Merry Christmas, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you are enjoying your day today and enjoying the celebrations, if you do happen to celebrate that at the moment. Uh, I'm recording this, but on the time you are receiving this video, I am hanging out with family and friends and sharing a presence that hopefully we've we've done a good job of of kind of figuring out things that would really bless each other. And I think uh, I think we've done a pretty good job, my wife and I, this year. So um, anyway, I'm looking forward to that, but I'm also looking forward to some food and I'm looking forward to hanging out with my family. And uh, so we just did this in, in Thanksgiving, but enough chattering about that. We've got some stuff to do here. I've got some progress to show you. So uh, let's uh, let's just turn around and, and take a look at what we've got. Now, first things first, um, you can see I've got tons and tons and tons of uh, waypoints marked out because I've gone on a bit of a journey. Okay, I can't zoom out any further than that, but I grabbed a boat and I went out this way and over this way and then up in this way and all around I'm looking for I was looking for a couple of home possibilities I happened upon Dadcraft's place as well while I was out and about uh, he's right here and then I think I came across came across somebody else's place over here somebody had already ransacked that village and I think maybe it was Wild Trekker. He, he had set up in one of these mineral forests. And uh, yeah, Dadcraft just joined. And I think he's getting ready to do some recording himself. But yes, I, I went on a journey and, and picked out some potential home locations. I'm thinking I'm going to go up to this dark oak forest up here. I, I really like it up here. We've got a little island right there. And then we can just kind of hang out. Got a little... Uh, plains area right there so so i don't know we'll see I'm, i'll i'll decide by the end of our video today but um, some other things of note i did some work on the stone pickaxe i added a diamond to it and then i added a bunch of redstone so it uh, it's functioning quite well so enough about that last time we talked about mining and we got this crusher going and a coal generator off camera i went ahead and did this furnace Oh, we got stuff in there. Are, we're out of... We're out of juice. Do we have any... We got some charcoal here. Let's chuck some charcoal into that. And then that'll get our furnace going. We still got... Oh, we still got plenty to... Okay. So anyway, I, I haven't been keeping on top of that. So uh, that's one of the things we're going to be taking care of today. So notice that this i have to keep on top of it i have to keep throwing stuff in here it's non it's not very renewable we could use charcoal certainly but it requires a lot of input so we're going to be getting into some immersive engineering today and to to really get started on that we're going to need to make a uh, a coke coke furnace coke what is that thing called coke coke oven right yeah coke oven that's what we're going to do did I grab the engineer's hammer? Yes, I did. So fo we focused on mining last time. I think this time we're going to be focusing on crafting. So the name of the game is Minecraft, right? So we're going to make some coke brick and we need 27 of those. And I think what I'm going to do is I am going to knock this out right here. Okay, we got three. Yep. And then we'll just get rid of that and that. And then we'll do the same. Just knock this all out, right like so. The reason we need this, and we're going to get started uh, really, really soon with this, and not just really soon, we're going to do it right now. The reason we're doing this is because for immersive engineering, we're going to need something called creosote oil. And that is produced here in the Coke oven. So there we go. And we'll just chuck some coal in there. It's going to start producing coal coke right there and then producing creosote oil right there, which we can pull and start making some of the interesting things like the windmill and the water wheel and all that fun stuff. So in the meantime, we've got a whole, whole other set of items to craft here in preparation for moving out. Yes, we are going to move out today. I've got to figure out where we're going to move to, but we're moving out. So uh, we need a little bit of prep for that. So first things first. 
yeah, we can actually uh, splurge a little bit and get what this is a it's a kind of a bug there. So yeah, we can make some basic iron leggings and an iron helmet. We are going to be doing that. Did I, oh, I've got I've got extras left over here. So we'll put that on and we'll put that on. And then the next thing we're going to do is over here, we're going to make some congealed blue slime block. All right. And then we're going to take that and that. No, let's put it right there. Yes, there we go. Slime boots. And we can put those on. And that way we've got a little bit extra protection against fall damage. And then we're going to make the slime sling as well. That's kind of useful for... Um, well, we'll just play around with it like so. Yep, there we go. Anyway, lots of fun between these two things here. And Dadcraft is joined once again. So let's say hi yet again. And uh, just let him know that we are recording. Um, and, and by the way, if you haven't checked out everybody else on the server... The links to everybody's channels are down in the description box below. Go check that out, please, please, please. Lots of good content coming out of the out of the uh, place here. We got some creosote oil, a little bit, not quite enough for a bucket, but that's fine. All right, so our, our next order of business is to get some of the Tinker stuff going because uh, as nice as this stone pickaxe is, it would be even better to have a hammer. So we're going to start taking care of some of the tinker smeltery stuff we need a casting table and we'll need a casting basin and we'll need a bunch of seared brick we'll just make all of that a couple of faucets and then over here a controller and drain and then a tank okay so all of that is done uh, another thing dadcraft mentioned putting a pattern chest i got that there so we can access the pattern chest pretty easily we go to part builder uh well we can't it used to hmm what if you put the part builder where is the part builder that's the part builder right there let's take this okay and then this and switcheroo so part builder right here and it can access the pattern chest right there so it's got to be right beside it and then we'll put the tool station right here. Again, what I am doing is keeping uh, the tool station in my inventory. And I also made one of these crescent hammers off camera because uh, they're just useful. Okay, so we're going to whack that. Okay, good. And we don't need the crescent hammer anymore today. So we're going to throw that in there and the engineer's hammer in there. And there we go. All right. The next order of business, we're going to make a tank. This is from Deep Resonance. And who made that? At Deep Resonance. Does it say anything about that? Deep Resonance Manual. We need some resonating ore. So I've already smelted all the resonating ore up into this resonating plate. So we can't quite make one of these. We'll have to do some more mining, but that's fine. Um... But we want a tank, and since we don't have Ender I.O., we're going to use the Deep Resonance tank. And while we're at it, uh, we need Iron Ingot. Okay. And let's just make a bucket real quick. Okay. So, uh, one of the things we're going to be focusing on here, I, I mentioned, we're going to be doing bees. And that means, um, yeah, I don't want to do a lot of mining and I don't want to do a quarry. We're going to use bees for all of our stuff. And what do we got down here? Uh, my villager that was hanging out in the house, he decided to come down the ladder here and we'll see if he has actually survived. And I don't know if he did. Yep, he's still here. Okay. He's down there. So what I want to do is come over this way. We're going to set down the tank. And and where did that tank go? It's right there. Right in my inventory. We will throw, uh, throw it right there. And we'll just do this. Okay. And we should be able to fill this up with what? 16 buckets, right? 
and we're going to take that with us on our journey to our eventual home okay and we'll set up the tinker smeltery there but might as well get all of our prep work done right here and do that and that and what, one more not quite no yeah there we go and then um bucket is going to be useful just by itself and it should still have yes it's got lava in it excellent throw down one of those torches and there we go all right so uh from this point on i'm going to be waiting for the uh the what's it um the creosote oil to finish up so that we can get a water wheel going and also because we need to move out uh, i've got i've already started accumulating stuff and those actually additions chests as, as cool as they are the storage containers as cool as they are um they don't move uh, without getting rid of all the items so what i want to do is make a bunch of these wooden storage crates and we're going to need a lot of treated wood planks for that so um so yeah maybe we can can we yeah there we go um maybe we can make some treated wood yeah will that will that do it uh like that maybe we need one more one more piece of wood and does it matter what kind of wood we put in there we got a bunch of spruce wood let's throw that in there and see what happens yes okay so that works out quite nicely we got a little bit of treated wood and we'll chuck that in there excellent so we can make uh we can make this and i have to i have to do this on my own so it helps to know the recipes that's good and how about this oh excellent so we will make some more of these and start putting stuff in there and the neat thing about these storage crates is that you can put items in there and then you know what we'll just take this right here watch this okay and then we'll put this one down and see it stores all the stuff so we can do that with backpacks as well but it's just kind of cool to use immersive engineering so that's what we're going to be doing uh, right for the time being i'm going to wait for all of this um to uh, turn into cold coke and make some more creosote oil and then i'll be back once we are ready to move out and in the meantime i'll also think about where we actually want to move to so back in a bit well ladies and gentlemen it is time it is time i have cleaned up everything here even took down the coke oven yes that we built it already and we've taken it down because we have moved everything into our our what are these uh, wooden storage crates so we can gather these all up and then what we're going to do is head on to where i have decided we are going to be setting up base so here's one of the things when we um oh while while i'm while, while we're going and i'll explain this in a bit but while we're going I'm going to be on the lookout for frost gardens because frost gardens have spinach in them and um, that may not mean much to you but um, the the reason it may not mean much to you is uh, because um, you may not know what spinach is used for so one of the my favorite things to eat here in Pam's Harvest Craft is beef wellington and that requires spinach and so we need to be on the lookout for that but um, one of the things that I recognized from quite some time ago um, in uh, when I was playing FTB Infinity Evolved is I spent a long time trying to figure out what base location I should use. And I spent so much time that, uh, well, it, it really hampered my efforts. So um, what, what I'm going to be doing is maybe not finding the most perfect spot to go to, but instead we're going to pick one that's good enough and then we're going to make do. So uh, what I have decided is uh, we're going to be going to that swamp. Uh, I believe that's the one. Is, is that it? Not, not up there. 
we want to go to that swamp right there. And I found another swamp while I was out and about. I didn't mark that one. Okay, so it's about a thousand blocks away. And then it's nowhere near this frosty area here. Uh, I may need to go to the mining dimension for that. So... Is that a witch over here? Or is that a villager? It's a witch, I bet. Alright, anyway, so what we need to do is get out of here and make... I think this is the direction we should be going. Yeah, we're over here. We need to go around this way. We could go over land. Well, where's the fun in that? So, so yeah, what we're going to do is go head over to the swamp. And the thing that, uh, you know, I really initially wanted to do something like a roof forest island. Uh, but really, I couldn't find an island that was large enough. And... You know, I could spend all my time trying to figure out where to go and and but we'd spend most most of our initial time just finding that spot rather than getting in to the various mods. And I really want to get into these mods. So um, so I've decided we're going to go to this swamp here and I'll show you what this thing is all about um, that, that really made me. Uh, made the eh, it's kind of the kicker for the decision making process there so i want enough room that we can actually uh, do some some decent projects around and again okay so yeah we're gonna go on this side of i had marked out this island as a possibility as well it's extreme hills um but i think some of the bees may not have such a good time with extreme hills they may have an easier time with the um with the swamp but who knows i i don't know a lot about what i'm doing with bees so i i could be wrong on that i, I want to come in and get some of this coal right here because we we are going to be needing some more of the coal coke and creosote oil so we're going to do this and eventually i will make a pick a better pick i hear a skeleton it means there is there's a cave system nearby. We're just going to go away from that. And we're going to cut across this thing. Whoa, this, this may be worth checking out. So along the way to find that swamp, we may have come across an island that is good enough. Who knows? This is, uh, this is new. This is new. Do I have a bed I, yeah i do have a bed with me okay we're gonna come into harbor here and maybe take a look around i may have found a new island despite um despite what i said about our swamp so let's just take a look and yeah so right here we've got we've got a little peninsula and a harbor and bay structure okay and then we'll go along this way and then see what it does. It may connect to something, but if this is an island, then we will hunker down here. Who knows? Who knows? Let's uh, let's just see. It's a rather large island, it looks like. Shaded Garden. We don't want that one. And we got chickens and bees course we have bees hives all around that's good okay no this is not an island this connects to the mainland and it's not quite really dark yet it connects over to this other swamp over here so so yeah okay so not quite what i was looking for And sleep, yes we can. Okay, so the swamp over here has a few different islands in it and that means we can spread out our base some. Cranberry leaves? What can we do from that? Can we get anything from there? No. 
Nothing? What was this? Cranberry sapling. Okay. And I'm on the lookout for, for that kind of stuff as well. Uh, because I want to get into the trees also. Okay, so let's put out the boat yet again. And see if we can once and for all get over to our swamp. Swamp right there. Okay. So what we're going to be doing with this swamp is uh, just setting up the various bits and pieces around and and then using walkways. What is this? This is a different type of wood. A dark wood of some form. Maybe I've seen this one. Maybe I haven't. Rubber wood. Okay, yeah, I've already seen that. And here's our swamp. So not too far away, about 200 more meters left. And we're going to hunker down over here. So we've got... It, it's pretty low-lying. But that should, uh, should make it fairly easy to, to take over. All right. So this is going to be where we set up shop. So I am going to... Uh, well, I'm going to unpack everything, maybe make a little hidey hole or something for the time being, and then I'll bring you back once once we've gotten settled. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are now a little bit more settled. Okay, it's not quite how we want to fully be settled. We do need to uh, spread torches out everywhere. Again, I, you know, I, I looked in here. There's no, there's no mega torch or anything like that. I wish there was. Uh, but nothing like that. Magnum. Nope. Okay. So, so I don't know if there's any way of getting rid of all mob spawns in an area. So instead I've just gone around and started lighting these things up. And so that's why I planted those, uh, mineral trees, but, uh, we do have a little bit of a starter house here and I'm, I'm a bit hesitant to share it with you because it's pretty bad. Okay. Uh, it, it's not a dirt hut. Okay. But it's still pretty bad. You you ready to take a look? Oh. Yeah. Yep. I mean, it's what I had on hand. Okay. So we had mineral. So we've got the, the mineral wood planks. Nice blue texture mixed with some oak wood. And then had some maple wood slabs just to throw a different color into the mix. And we got maple wood floors as well. But we're all settled out here. Um, you know, we're not quite back to where we were at the start of this episode we did have a little bit of automation going uh, i'm gonna get there by the time we start next episode so i'm gonna go off camera after this and uh and take care of all of that maybe get a mine going do some caving around here and uh and just generally really get settled in okay so uh next time we'll, we'll get all this machinery straightened out and all of that stuff and uh we'll bring back the coke oven as well and then maybe start working towards the blast furnace and then we need to get some tinkers going but another thing all of that that coke oven uh that was to get some creosote oil because we need to get into the immersive engineering and we need to get some power going on to get rid of that coal generator so um water mills and windmill or water wheels windmills and so on you you name it we need to get to it so i uh, got this engineer's manual going and uh and so uh, next time we're really gonna hit it maybe get into tinkers first but we'll see um we'll, we'll see whatever the inspiration strikes but that's going to be it for now hopefully you enjoyed and hopefully you are having a m very merry christmas so oh, thank you original and um and yeah so i just want to say thank you so much for watching and uh if you enjoyed a like is always appreciated and if you haven't done so already think about subscribing so you're up to date with everything going on, on the channel Merry Christmas. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.